वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 3.48 सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ होल स्पंज एट ए इन अ प्लास्टिक शीट बाय अप्लाइंग 600 न्यूटन फोर्स पी टू द एंड ई डी ऑफ द लीवर सी डी व्हिच इज रिजिडली अटैच्ड टू अ सॉलिड सिलेंडर शॉफ्ट बी सी डिजाइन स्पेसिफिकेशन रिक्वायर्ड दैट द डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ डी शुड नॉट एक्सीड 15 मिलीमीटर फ्रॉम द टाइम द पंच फर्स्ट टच द प्लास्टिक शीट टू टाइम इट एक्चुअली पेनिट्रेट इट डिटरमाइन द रिक्वायर्ड डायमीटर ऑफ शॉफ्ट बी सी If shaft is made up of steel with G is 77 giga pascal and allowable shearing stress is 80 mega pascal, so you can see uh, this is the point where hole is to be punched by a force of 600 newton force that applied at end D of lever C D, and it is given that when this this point touch the plate and till the till it penetrates this D. must travel 15 mm distance 15 mm because understanding the question is a part of your exam so you must uh, learn first what this problem tells you about so it must be uh, it is must for you to understand it all other uh, values g and t allowable is given so you have to find the diameter of this shaft so let's start with the solution so first we know that torque which is given as t is equal to p into perpendicular distance so this is p which is 600 newton and this is the perpendicular distance 300 so 600 multiply by 300 mm so in meter it is 0.300 and that is equal to 180 newton into meter so this is the torque that is uh clockwise acting on this point okay so this is the torque so what we will do is that we will uh, determine diameter of shaft diameter of shaft based on displacement limit displacement limit now you can see it is given that this is the original d c d bar and it is given that it will display 15 mm so this distance is delta which is 15 mm which is 0.015 meter and this lever will come to this position and it will make here theta angle so you know this distance is 300 and you know this value so we use this formula s is equal to r theta you are familiar with that but here delta is equal to r into theta so from here you will get this theta is equal to delta over r so delta is given as not available delta is uh, uh, 15 mm so 0.015 divided by r is 300 mm which is 0.300 and unit will be in meter uh unit it will be unitless it will be theta will be in radian so you will get theta is equal to 0.00 0.00 sorry 0.0.05 radian now you have this angle of this is actually angle of twist that will be in that will be developed in this shaft bc as well so we know that angle of twist is equal to t into l divided by g into j so t into l g is there and j is pi by 2 c power 4 if the, this shaft have radius c so it will be c power 4 so from here you will get uh, c power 4 will be equal to 2 times t into l divided by g into pi into angle of twist so you have all the values 2 torque is given as 180 length of this shaft is 500 mm which is 0.500 divided by g g is given as 77 giga pascal so 77 into 10 raised to power 9 pi is there which is 3.1417 and theta is 0.05 so from here you will get c power 4 will be equal to 14.882 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter power 
4. So if you take fourth power, uh, fourth square root, uh, uh, fourth root of c power 4 and fourth root of 14.882 into 10 to the power minus 9. So you will get the value of c, which is 11.045 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. And we are interested to find out diameter. So diameter is equal to 2 times radius. So 2 multiplied by 11.0. This is 11.045 millimeter. So 11.045 and that will be equal to 22.1 millimeter. So this is the required diameter that is based on the displacement of point D our displacement limit clear that is mentioned over here now we will find the diameter diameter based on allowable sharing stress share stress so we know that allowable sharing stress is equal to t into c divided by j so t multiplied by c and j is pi by 2 c power 4 so from here we will get ta is equal to t 2 t divided by pi c cube cube we are interested to find out the radius so c cube is equal to 2 t divided by pi into ta so we put the value 2, torque is 180 divided by pi and allowable sharing stress for this steel shaft is 80 megapascal. So 80 into 10 to the power 6. So when you calculate it, you will get 1.432 into 10 to the power minus 6 cubic meter. So if you take cubic root on both sides, 1.432 by using scientific calculator so you will get the value of c comes out to be 11.273 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter or c will be equal to 11.273 millimeter since we are interested to find out diameter so diameter is two time radius so 2 multiplied by 11.273 will be equal to 22.5 millimeter. So this is the diameter based on allowable shear stress. Now you can check that we have two diameter. The first one is this one that is calculated based on displacement and this one is based on allowable shearing stress. So we will choose we will choose the larger diameter larger value of d which is d is equal to 22.5 because it will be safer against the loading and this is the answer of our this question and that was all about this problem in 3.48 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon for getting the updates about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Also share my videos with your friends and help me in growing my channel. Thank you for watching.